Our first reading today and the gospel call us to think about the one thing that God does best and the one thing that you and I probably have a really difficult time doing, at least sometimes, forgiveness and reconciliation. It's hard to forgive, isn't it? When we're hurt and people do wrong by us, it's hard to forgive sometimes. But it's the one thing that Jesus says we must do. You know, the beginning of Matthew's gospel, after he teaches his disciples his prayer, the Lord's prayer, he says to them, the measure with which you forgive will be the measure with which you are forgiven. If you forgive a little, you can only expect to be forgiven a little. You forgive a lot, and you'll be forgiven a lot. And don't we all need to be forgiven a lot? I had a conversation this past week on the phone with a parishioner. It was a very upsetting and disturbing conversation. It wasn't angry or irrational. Um, the prisoner wasn't nasty or mean-spirited, and I've had those kind of conversations over the past few months, past years I've had them. And those, I'll stop. And sometimes if I have to, I'll stop them forcefully. Now, this was different. And this conversation was so upsetting that it brought me to tears. I, I just couldn't get my head wrapped around the whole situation. Because it makes no sense to me. It's just so foreign to my experience. And then what's upsetting more so is that there's just nothing that I can do about it. You see, this parishioner was struggling with the mass schedule. The mass that she wanted to attend, at the time she wanted to attend, was not in the church building that she wanted to attend. She couldn't bring herself to go to the other church. And I'm not saying which church it is, because I know the truth is, this attitude goes both ways. There are many who will go to another town to attend Mass, but they won't go to the other church in this town. Why? I, I, I just don't understand this this situation. It, it makes no sense to me. I was pastor in Ashland for four years starting in 2002, and I heard the stories of pastors from years gone by who would kick people out of church. You know, Get out of my church. Go back to your own church. You don't belong here. And maybe there were cultural reasons for that, but it causes a division that that just doesn't make sense. A kind of division that is just not part of God's plan for his church. And it can't be part of our plan for our parish. This kind of animosity that comes into the guise of I love my church building is just not part of the life of Christ that we are called to be as church. And today, I have to acknowledge this sin, this sin of animosity. And I invite you, every one of you, to join me in working towards healing, forgiveness, and reconciliation. How do we do it? Where do we do it? Well, allow me to offer this thought. Remember what I said last week about church being called out of the world into life with Christ. And life with Christ is nothing less than accepting and embracing the reality of the cross as a means to joy and, and peace and freedom. Take the hurt, the anger, the fear, all of those kind of things that, that, would, that are part of life and lay them at the cross. Lay them at the foot of the cross and pray the prayer that Jesus prayed while he hung on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 
Because this prayer, I believe, acknowledges the pain and the suffering that we endure in life, the hurts of life, and the difficulty of forgiving. It's Jesus saying, Father, I'm in pain, and you forgive. God, you forgive. And then give me the wisdom and the grace and the courage to one day forgive as you call me to. That's the how. The where? Well, the where starts right here, right in our very church. But specifically every Wednesday, when we have the opportunity for Eucharistic adoration in our mother church of St. John the 23rd. And I really encourage you and invite you to come to church on Wednesday, spend some time, kneel down before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration, and, and, and pray this prayer. Pray, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Maybe even attend the parish holy hour that begins at 7 o'clock on, on Wednesday evenings when we pray the rosary in the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. We pray prayers of intercession and then benediction. I can assure you, you'll be on your way home before 8 o'clock. But remember, this prayer for healing, forgiveness, reconciliation, it's something that we must do because it is something that God does, and he calls us to do the same.